What's going on, Dragon Squad? We just watched Vox Machina Episode 8, Echo Tree, and oh my god. Again, animation was going off. Kiki went fire, guys. So many things happened, but you guys are about to check out our reaction. Make sure to stay after the reaction so we can talk about it. Make sure to check out our Patreon, check out our TikTok exclusive content. Shout out to our editor, Kai. And for those of you guys who are new to the channel, I am Ember. I'm Glacier. And we are... This video is brought to you by the YouTube channel, Water is Peace. We live in a world of chaos. The stress of work, family life, and constant bad news can be overwhelming. Sometimes we just need to stop. Escape to a world of peace. Subscribe to Water Is Peace on YouTube. Water is peace. Subscribe to Serenity. Is this real or a mirage? Dang. Also looks like uh, this other anime movie, or anime show called Sword something. We get like sucked into an RBG. In times of danger, the elven nobility have arcane means of moving it. Oh, okay. It's rarely seen. So she's already skeptical. It's rarely seen, so it's probably a trap. That's we. Okay, back. Oh damn. <laughs> Vex and Vax homies. We're almost through. Just a few more blocks and we're Ooh. Oh shit. Fucked. <laughs> we seek an audience with Ambassador Vassar. Damn. <sighs> Where is children? Boom. No, yeah, mm. exactly. We got swag like that. We're Saw's kids. And he's gonna he's gonna give us the audience. Is he still gonna be a dick? I don't know. Is he even real? Is this all an illusion? Like, I am real. I'm in the Fey realm. We've been in this realm for decades. Do they even know they're in the Fey realm? Were they transported there without their knowledge? Now, being that the fate, the threat of fate is connected to the Whisper One, because at the very end, the yellow thing goes to the Whisper One. Yeah. You guys keep saying we may not see him again, but I feel like we just might. Maybe not in this campaign. Because they said that there was like that war. What was it called? It begins with a C. It was like the war of the, like the two factions of gods. Yeah. That the matron of uh, ravens is part of it does go you're right it does go up to the green eyes so how powerful is that was a whisper one part of that war because that'll be a crazy way oh. to end it but see the actual war of the gods how about <laughs> i'm gonna fight the whisper one damn what's up pops clean his house i've known many people with money and titles they're definitely not worth you mm. that's the flirty words but their parents are both dead, right? Who are you talking to, Mum? <gasps> oh, right. You? you haven't met Valori yet. That... Our daughter. <sighs> Damn stepmom. Oh, like a stepsister or like a half sister. So I'm guessing the mom was killed by Thordak and not the, and the dad survived. Yeah. Your father will be pleased to see you. <clears throat> there he is. Wooly though. Had you notified me, you'd be gracing us with your presence. God. Well, I didn't notify you. I notified your staff. Bitch. Resting dick face. Get some Botox for your wrinkles. Double Botox. Hi. Pop up. Oh, it's you. Oh, Pike. Thank the God. It's daddy. Dang, they see both get to see their family. Yeah. Yeah, it's like meet your family day. My great great grandfather, Wilhand Trickfoot. Oh, damn. Great great grandfather. This is Scanlan. Ahem. <clears throat> At your service. <laughs> and I put that there. Damn. Oh, Grog. Did you forget to eat? Hi, <laughs> Pop Pop. <laughs> How old do you think Pop Pop is? 500 years? 600 years? Yeah, great, great, great. Thousand? Who knows? He, he smokes that good shit. And or so is. when Imon fell, we had no recourse but to retreat to the Fey Realm. Okay, they retreat. I assume you've heard how Vox Machina slayed one of the dragons. I'm unfamiliar Rimsize with Vox jazz. Machina. Damn. We've come for an ancient weapon said to lie in the Shade Merc. The Finthris Bow. You've heard of it. The Finthris Bow. Legends say it fires arrows strong enough to wound a titan. Damn. Damn. The very idea of Vaxeldan and Vexalia standing up for the greater good is, well, rich. God. Oh, you unbelievable prick. Yeah. No harm intended. But he just said. It's fine. Damn. She's like, I'll pick our battles. Of course. It's the least I can do. Yeah, pretty much for family. You pretty much disown them and start a whole new family. I just said at least I can do for family. Can you be quiet, please? And I will not them. be quiet. I'm helping them out, and I'm smoking weed at the same time. You should appreciate it. You like bad people. 
Glacier's favorite position, face down, ass up. Oh, shit. Dude, what the fuck is that? Turd? Wrapped in leaves? Oh! Oh! Wait, but the good old prison he's wallet. Not gonna, he's too weak to, um, you know, give it to himself. <laughs> uh, allow me. I know how to work. God. Oh, no. Like, all right, I'm gonna count to three. One, and... <laughs> God. Uh. The pain. Uh. It's Lady Vexalia. Yeah. Lady. Respect on Lady Vexalia, Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone and Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt. Ooh. Despite your relationship, do watch your manners towards a noble. Pretty much saying that they're married. <laughs> we won't fail, which is more than I can say about you as a father. Bitch. Damn. Did it sting? No. Daddy wasn't there. Show me that bow and I will give you the welcome you think you deserve. Damn. Oh. Fuck you. Ooh, We're thank leaving. you. No more civility. What does fuck you mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it means hugs and kisses. Say it to your dad every chance you get, okay, sweetie? Dad's like, no, you put respect in my name or I'll come Whatever. slice it's your ember ass up too. He takes that thinner's bow and shoves up your thinner's ass. I'll smoke you out like I smoke embers. Okay, great. Smoked elf. Is that what's for lunch? <laughs> Turned invisible. Wouldn't have missed your little family tiff. She's like looking at the drawing like, what the hell did you draw? <laughs> Dirty motherfucker. No one other than my brother has ever stood up for me like that. Thank you. Mm. Why did he pull us away from her when he, he had no love for us? Mm. Somehow I feel like it hurt me more. God. Here. She's so... I made something wants for his you. approval. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad... It's a badass arrowhead. Yeah. It's like a Hawkeye arrowhead. Onward we go! Let's go. So she's like still wants his approval, but I feel like when she gets his bow, it's more. It's gonna be more like, I don't need your approval anymore, yeah, bitch. Yeah, need your approval. Look what I did. Without your ass. Yeah, like... What's his name? Stewie from Mad TV. Look what I can do. You live in my shadows now. I can connect with the plant roots, but I only sense sadness. Damn. Longing. Uh, where's, where's his echo tree? You made that weapon. To hear that. Don't listen to him. Oh great. Who the hell is this? But as long as you don't submit Sondor. to his voice, his sadness won't turn you. Ah. God. Oh, reassuring. Oh no. Well, we've already seen Falcor, so is this like the nothing? Vexalia. Yeah, let's call her name. Great, he's gonna be talking shit in their ear. Oh, so I'm gonna be like this forever? God. No, not necessarily. Come on, the medicine got rid of your corruption. We're cheering. There we go. I gotta stimulate myself. <laughs> okay. Right. Shut the hand. <laughs> Gosh. When they're properly aroused. Aroused? I'm getting real mixed messages here. <laughs> My buddies, no moping. My buddies. Oh, okay, that's Kermit. The froggy. As you know. promised, the shade mark. Nice transition to the other frog. Damn. Proper names. Skulls, shade bones. Oh, no. Oh, shit. It's like an evil elf spirit. Almost like look what Vax was looking at. Careful. Now, is this like a spirit or another god? Huh? Vex, one of the bad ones. are you all right? Uh, she doesn't look all right. She's just walking forward. Uh, Vex. <sighs> and it's probably gonna keep talking shit like, you'll never get your father's approval. Passing through this muck. Vexolia! And she's like walking on, like walking on water. Look at that. Can you hear me? I'm drawn to it. Damn. Look at that. It's not the if right pipe. Is what you seek, your father will never give it. Yep. I await. How did he get what is this? condemned to this forest? How did uh, Sondor's soul get lost in this forest? Give me that bow. Show me where it's at. Damn. Wow. Pain has found you. God. The music. Oh, oh shit. Go oh, away. That's a trap. <laughs> Damn, we got in. That person's not putting up with that. Sister! Damn. God. Kiki can't even do anything. Damn. Nobody can do anything. No breathing either. God. It's like an Elvish Vecna. Yep. Oh, shit. Boom. Here, Father. You made this for me. Oh, wow. Show me what she wants. Beautiful as you. Damn. My Vexalia. <laughs> He's just giving you what you want. And rise above your trembling destiny. I have seen, if anything, anything. 
Damn. I will be your father. I think I can cross any gifts. Damn. Like Pulling out the heartstrings, yeah. You being the good daughter. Damn. So Sonder knows from experience he's probably abandoned. Damn, black tears. But it will never be enough. Oh no. You will never be enough. So who abandoned Sondor? But it is not what you need. Oh, Finch's bow. Oh shit. That's what I need. <laughs> Kiki, come on. I've been loving the music in these last couple episodes. Yep. Could earn his respect. What would you ask in return? Is Fincher's the god that he worships. All I need from you is use your heart. God, damn. Don't do it. He's like the devil. My heart. He belongs to Percy. Oh shit. Yeah, eat shit. My heart is someone else's. Oh, oh. Percy's. Let's go. Damn, instantly woke up. You're making a mistake. Please. Let's take the finish bow anyway. Need me. You could never give me what I need. Ooh. Bitch. Oh. You're just like the rest. Oh no. Shit. Not Why would you turn your back on him? Yeah. Don't turn your back on him. Kiki. Give this plant back to the work. That guy's like, don't even get me started on your ember ass. I'll roll you up in roots. Look at that. So Glacier, I will show my roots so far up your ass. I can freeze I'll roots. Use you as a damn Fire doesn't do anything to wood. Pop, Fire doesn't do anything to wood. It does everything to wood. Because it does nothing to it. Ice. It's like, well, we're about to whoop Fox mock his ass. We're called Mr. Tree Bumps. Damn things don't bleed. How do you fight a tree? Fire, baby. Yep. Burn it to a crisp. I've got an idea, but I need you two to keep them busy. Master of fire element. Yeah, yeah, tree bump and tree stump. Like, oh, maybe you go fire god. You reject. Yeah, it's like a little boss. Huh. Oh, damn. Damn. Damn right, twig dick. <laughs> this Fentress bow is probably yeah. super OP, though. Ooh. So I'm guessing Fentress was the god that he, that uh. Summer probably answers to. Or maybe the god that abandoned Animation's him. sick. Yeah, it's going. Wow. Oh, my god. Shit. Oh, damn. Let's go. It's like I'm sweating. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh. Oh, yeah, this is getting crazy. Let's clean head movement. Bob and Weezer. Get that out of my face. My name's Tree Glump. We are Groot. We're Groot's cousins. Yeah, we're Groot's cousins. Ember's right. We're hard to kill. Yeah, Kiki's about to... Yeah, let's oh. go. Fire. Cue epic music. I'll eat that fire for Chris. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, eat it, num nums. Oh damn. Ultra instinct pencil, <laughs> pencil animation. And I do the teleporting move. Let's to go. both of you. Oh yeah, she's on different level. Yep. Woo! I have chills. And that is how you fight a tree. Yeah, burn it to oh. Chris. Use Percy's arrowhead. Use Percy's oh, arrowhead. Oh, damn. He wounded him right there. Hurt him a little bit. Hard to expose. Damn. The oh. elemental arrows. Yep. So sick. Use Percy's Ooh. arrow. Beating him on his own, though. One on one. One v one. Ah, damn. Took a fall right there, though. Trial oh, by like, fire. Took like an arena. Oh, no. Her pose broke. Shit. Well. Take Finch's yeah. bow. Now's your time. Not so tough now, are we? Exalia! We just gotta do it on our own. I realize. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Percy arrow. Your words are as empty as your corrupted heart. Bitch. Bro. Good job monologuing, dumbass. Should've... Oh, and it expands. I'll, I'll be taking my bow now. Damn. Bye. Give me my bow while you're at it, too. That's how you're gonna die alone. And in Percy Arrow's still intact. Clean ass gift. Boom. New vent. New, uh, vestige. New item acquired. acquired. We did it without Umber Soul. I distinctly remember you saying we never see you again. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. And you won't, because you lot are going home. Let's go. Tisha. Portal. So I figured you deserve something in return. This should take you back to Tal Dori. Let's go. Portal's closing. Oh, shit. Right. Everyone through. Thank you, Garmiel. Yeah, thank you, Garmiel. The Fey Realm is definitely better in the books. Damn. <laughs> now, who are you, really? Are you going to reveal yourself? 
Oh shit. What the hell? Travel safe, friends. Stay alive. Venture. No, is that Ventress? I don't know. It's the no, dude. That's it might be Ventress. The guy from Labyrinth or Ventress. Uh, David Bowie, Labyrinth. Sounds like just like his voice too. He probably voice acted. God. Actually, no. You couldn't voice act. He's dead. I was just gonna let you clap yourself. That's why I didn't <laughs> say anything. But still, it's David Bowie's character. For vestiges, Myth Carver showed me those gauntlets. Remember mm. in the city? Oh, you're right. Scans like I'm gonna get my gauntlets, and then boom. I know who has them. Who's in a, who's in a wield the sword? Maybe it's that Grog's family has them. So this will be easy then. Oh, mm. maybe Grog gets the sword from Umbrasol because he already destroyed the other yeah, sword. Yeah, he needs one. Belong to my uncle. Oh. He killed me with them. Oh shit! The plot thickens. Oh, maybe he'll get them gauntlets. I guess that would make sense. He's like, yeah, killed me with them. My gauntlets. My uncle killed me with them. So how the hell did he get resurrected? God damn! An amazing episode. Again, animation, the music, everything is just hitting next level tiers. But yeah, Echo Tree Glitch, what you think? Echoed greatness, that's all I gotta say. It's uh, another fight, another battle, another mini boss in the bag of books. And uh, just like predicted, Vex was gonna get the bow. Question is though, who's gonna get the gauntlets now we have that little twist at the end? I mean, I feel like because it belongs to Grog's family, Grog should get the gauntlets. But being the fact that kind of what you said, hit the sword that went to Scanlan, Umbrasil has it now. It would make sense. Then also Grog doesn't have Craven's Edge, so right. I feel like you know Grog will get a sword. But one of them two are gonna get it, and whoever doesn't get the other one will get the other one. Either way, I'm cool because I can see Grog with the gauntlets too, and especially like raging out with gauntlets. And Ripley's like, like, no, you forget about me. Ripley's like my sword. Ripley, you're about to get. Believe it or not, you're about to get the work. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. That whole scene with with Sondor and um, and Vex was amazing. Like he was pretty much like a tree Vecna, and just like begging her, like pretty much like baiting her in by giving her what she wanted. Like, oh, your daddy didn't give you the approval. I'll be your daddy. I'll give you the approval. All the approval you want more, baby. But I mean, at the end of the day, I, like he seems like a lost soul that maybe he was abandoned, yeah. and that's how he knows from experience what it's like, or to, like to not get approval. So the question is, because I'm guessing his little Garmiel, his true identity was revealed. I'm pretty sure he was Fentress, because he kind of looked like. Like a godlike elf, he had like eternity in his eyes, and he was the same color scheme as the as the bow. So well, for whatever reason, the voice reminded me of the guy from Labyrinth. For his character name in Labyrinth. Yeah, but I mean, as far as that goes, I'm guessing like the whole show was just a test yeah. for Vex. So maybe Sondor was just like a, a figment, it was like a, like a Fugazi, just like a test to get Fentress's bow. Now that I think about it, but I mean, yeah, that whole scene was amazing. I, I love how Kiki went full on fire god mode again, but she was going even harder this time. She killed the Groot's cousins. Yeah, killed the little Groot's called Flutin too. And I mean, yeah, Kiki's OP'd AF. And yeah, that was amazing to behold. Cause you kept yeah. saying, oh, what are you gonna stop the trees? Are they gonna stop the trees? I'm like, oh yeah, fire bitch. But yeah, I mean, whatever. that whole show's crazy. I and like then, that Vex beat whatever the fuck that thing was called, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and can Percy's Arrowhead came into play. I, like, as soon as I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, Percy's Arrowhead's gonna wax that ass and deal the killing glove. Um, and then what else happened? I mean, obviously, their dad is saw still an asshole. From what I'm gathering, I'm guessing Vex and Vax's mom was killed by Thordak, and then he remarried and pretty much started a whole new family and still yep. pretty much like treats them like redheaded stepchildren. Grog got his ass shoved up. But at least they realize that they have a half sister. At least the half sister's yep. cool. And the mom seems pretty cool too. Question is how we're gonna get Grog's muscles back. He already had a cucumber shoved up his ass. Yeah, it was bad. The only thing that got stronger was his sphincter. But I mean, he, I guess that was made to take the curse away, so he's not cursed and like consumed by the Craven's Edge anymore. So now it's just a matter of they said they need like a boost. Yep. I'm guessing it's a little bit of the juice, as right. they say. I know we're going back to what we said at the beginning of the outro, but he said he was killed by those, so he got brought back to life. Well, he said Grog used his uncle used the gauntlets to kill him, is what I'm taking from it. So the question is, one, how did he get resurrected? Yep. And two, how froggy is his, is his uncle? Yeah, already still on bad terms. And why did he do that? I'm guessing we're going to find out because next episode we're going to Westrun, I'm guessing. But maybe we go as a group because now that what I'm calling Fentress slash Garmiel gave him the portal back to Taldor, so at least maybe they can link back up and go to Westrun as a, as a clan and not split up. Now the question but, yeah. is, are we going to see Umber? Like, how many more? That's the thing. How many more vestiges are there? Is it just the gauntlets at this point, and Umber still has the last one, the sword, or is there any more? Because if I'm the dragon, I'm thinking like, you know what? Let you guys do all the dirty work, and then I have the GPS route to go to all three of you as soon as I know. Yeah, he's gonna pull have... Thanos. Pretty much what Thanos <laughs> did in Endgame. Like I'm gonna let you guys collect <laughs> the stones for me and the gauntlet, and put it all together. I'm just gonna. So he's up Thanos' lines, he goes, what did that bring you back to me? <laughs> like, yeah. oh no, I still time. feel like they're gonna, like, Ripley's plan is either to separate and, like, pin Umbrasil against Thordak to, like, weaken them, or just to use Umbrasil 
to like think like that just to get all the vestiges, then she's just gonna somehow double cross him somehow. Well, the question is, I'm still with all the vestiges versus Thordak. Thordak, that guy, um, you know Thordak better than I do. Yeah, and I know a Dragon God when I see one, he would pretty much, he would probably take on Tiamat at that point. Or Bahama <laughs> if he had all the vestiges. Fuck, I fucking mean. But yeah, I mean, that's, we only have after this episode that we're about to watch, we only have three more episodes. So yeah, I feel next like week season finale time. Yeah. So I don't know in this season if we're going to, I feel like at some point we're going to get this crazy, uh, like a rehappening. I think it's called the Calamity, like the War of the Gods. I'm pretty sure it's called the Calamity. So are we going to see that, like pretty much res a resurgence of that? Or are we going to see, are we going to see the Dragon Gods, Tiamat or Bahamut? Are we going to see any of the Chrome Dragons? So much shit's going to happen. And also, I'm excited to see how this is going to lead into the, the Mighty Nine, which you guys told us it happens like 20 years in the future. But it's still a possibility that we can see yeah. some of our characters because a lot of our characters live a long ass time. So 20 years ain't shit to, to Kiki or to, you know, Vex and Vax other elves. Yeah. I don't know how long Scanlan lives, but Pike, I mean, I'm assuming she lives a long time because her pop pop's still alive. And he's probably like hundreds of years old. Yep, exactly. So yeah, exciting to see. But yeah, this show's amazing. Again, the music in this show does not give enough credit between last episode and this episode. The music just like added so much. And even like the previous week's episodes, yep. like the music is definitely next level in this season. But Final Thoughts, Glacier? Yeah, Final Thoughts. Final thoughts, we check all the boxes as usual. One of our favorite shows. We look forward to the show. Can't wait for, like Ember said, they're gonna come out with a different set of characters. I think it's like 100 years apart. One of you guys said in the comments, like 20. 20 years apart? Literally just said that. Well, you know what? You don't say it loud enough sometimes. Speak up higher. I speak quality. That's why you don't speak anything. You're I could have ran for president, but I chose not to because that's how good I speak around here. And people know that my spelling is good and my grammar is punctual. So your grammar's on time. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you meant to say? Yes, grammar's on time. It's punctual and it's spelled correctly in the I don't know what's more pathetic. Grog's lack of muscles or your lack of brain. Because the aphrodisiac muscle activates Please when stop. I speak. What did I tell you? Two syllables or less. Dragon certified. Thank you. <laughs> Simple. Easy. Can't wait to see more dragon certified. Fucking hit it. There you have it, guys. Another one in the books. Real questions. What do you guys think in there in Drive Squad Land? I mean, again, I feel like this show is on the verge of being put on Mount Rushmore of animation. And Amazon is killing it with these animated shows. We're still excited to see season two of Invincible. Any other Easter eggs? Like, what do you think as far as our theory of Sondor? Do you think Sondor is just an illusion to bring like a test from a Fentress? And Fentress was, you know, who we thought was uh, Girmil or Garmil? Or do you feel like there was more of a backstory to Sondor? Or maybe in the campaign, there's more of a backstory to Sondor and they changed it a little bit. And then other than that, I mean, Kiki, what's her power level at this point? Who's really going to take her on? Because she's not even a full-on Avatar Kiki yet. But um, <laughs> any other Easter eggs? How many more vestiges are there without any spoilers? Let us know down below.